George. Sarah. Thank you for being on the show. The greatest contrast that the human mind can differentiate between is the contrast of light and dark, black and white, night and day if you want to carry it that far. So I'd like to try a small experiment on a small scale with two candles and some people might call it remote viewing. I don't necessarily call it that, but you can call it whatever you want. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put an X on the bottom of one of these two candles. This is going to be the one that I blow out. This is the one that's going to stay lit. I don't want you to know where the X is, necessarily. So I'm going to take them under the table and mix them about face that way so you can't see. That'd be good. Perfect. Turn back around. Now one of these has a lovely X on the bottom, and one doesn't. I want you to use your intuitiveness and try to figure out which one has the X. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but I just want you to go with your gut instinct. I think this one. This one? Yes. Is there any reason why that one? No. You're absolutely correct. Yeah? Yeah. Check it out. Okay. And just so you know, I'm not cheating. And, uh, you know, trying to fake you out or something like that. There is only one X. That worked great, thank you. I'd like to play this on a much larger scale, though. Um, instead of candles, I'd like to do it with all the lights in the room. There's ten or so of them, but let me explain how the light switches work in here, and because they're kind of screwy. So, stand up with me. First little light over here. It says, lovely star lamp. There's a switch on up there. There's a switch just like you would turn off a normal lamp for the lamp there. Uh, the Lumiere. There's, you can turn off the bottom light or the top light. Um, there's the light in the corner. That's actually operated with the light switch on the walls, the one closest to the right. There's the foyer light. That's the light switch on the left. Uh, you can actually turn this off if you'd like. There's a switch right on front. It just flicks down and flicks back up. The kitchen light is actually the switch closest to the wall. Okay. I know, it's kind of crazy. And the uh, dining room light is closest to it. Uh, oh, it also has the right player over there in the corner. There's a little tiny light on it. There's a knob. It's an on and off knob. You can see that. So what I'm going to do is we're going <laughs> to leave. I'm going to leave the room. You're going to stay here. You're going to go around, decide on a light to turn off. Any turn it off. Those? Any of these lights, absolutely. Anything that has a light on it, you can turn off. Turn it off for about 10 seconds, turn it back on again, and when you're done, come knock on the door. I'm going to be standing outside trying to remote view the room. All Try right. it three or so times, see how successful we can be. So and then seconds? I'm going to have you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of weird. So I'm going to head out. This is my camera, that's your camera. I'm going to head out this way and hope this works. Let's go. Alright, so i got to visualize the room in my head. See if I can just. I'm go with this light, maybe the star lamp on the table on that side of the room. That's what I'm. Star lamp. Almost confident. Okay, I was committing to the star lamp on the small table. Yes! I get that's it? it. Yeah. Fantastic. I want to do it again, just so you know that's not a good thing. You know, what's just luck. Mm -hmm. do it again. Um, same thing. You turn off the same light again, or you can go for something else. I mean, if you want to try to catch me out, you can turn off the same light again. Completely catchy. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if it's the bottom, but I'm going to go for the, uh, the bottom. The yes. Bottom. The bottom. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. One last time. Let's go. One last time? The kitchen. You should turn the kitchen off. Kitchen. Oh, the dining room. Kitchen. Kitchen. I think. 
Maybe. Let's hope. I want to say dining room, but I'm going to go with the kitchen. Kitchen? 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 No. Dining room? Dining room, this one right here. Dining room. Okay, well, I wasn't too sure. So that's okay. Two out of three isn't bad, and I was close on the last one, but I'm going to show yeah, you how you can do this. Okay. So, um, close your eyes, visualize the entire room in your head, and as soon as you see a segment of that room go dark, nine times out of ten, that's the light that went off, whatever's in that area. Even if you get the area right, we'll still call it a success, because that'll still be pretty good for your first time. All right? So it'll take 20 seconds, just like you did. I'll turn the light off for 10 seconds, turn it back on, and I'll knock on the door to signal you to come back. All right. Cool. After you. Mm, I'm gonna go for the slap over here. This should be good. There's about 10 seconds. I'm thinking it's gonna be the light. She can do this, I know, I'm confident. What'd you go for? That one. Which one? The light, like on the table there. The curvy one. That was absolutely right. Really? Fantastic, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. How'd you know? Did you actually see it go dark in your head? Yeah, I like that corner of the room. That was amazing. I knew you could do it if you just believed. Thank you for coming and helping out on our program. You're welcome. Thank you. Utterly fantastic. I am shocked. I'm mostly shocked that I got right because I don't know what I'm doing. So I just envision things in my mind, but I didn't know if that was actually going to work. That was really impressive. Perfect. Thank you.